All right, in this video, I'd like to show you how to take an image like this and add a sort of an aged sepia tone sort of look to it. Um, we've got this man standing here with the paddle and the, uh, the sweater and the hat, and so I think this would be a good fit. So the first thing I'm going to get you to do is add a black and white adjustment layer on there, which is right here in our adjustments. Okay, um, you'll notice that this goes up and you get get some options and you can actually uh, bring up the reds and bring down the yellows a little bit just to adjust the sort of the brightness level and and uh, of, of certain colors and so that's the the first step and then the second step is to grab a color balance layer and when you bring that up uh, what you want to do is start to add some color and back into it. So I'm going to bring the reds up in one direction and the yellows up in the, the other direction. But before you get too far, uh, realize that we're going to be blending this color bal balance layer in as a soft light blending mode. So why don't you go ahead and do that so you can see exactly what's happening. So you'd see now that it's blended, blended with soft light the the reds and the yellows are much more subtle and the, the contrast is, is starting to come up. So you can play with these sliders to, to see something that you really like in the mid-tones and into the shadows. Just like that. Alright, so now we're getting more of that sort of reddy brown uh, kind of sepia tone look. Um, looking at this, um, I'm not liking the, there's too much sort of red tones in there. Um, and you could you know work back into the slider uh, with the with the reds on the color balance layer, but another way to go about it is actually to go into your hue and saturation and add a hue and saturation uh, adjustment layer. Um, and here, instead of uh, choosing master, you can go into your red specifically and take your saturation down of the reds, just like that. So you can see um, what that looks like now. So here we have our black and white, which you can see is uh, still pretty flat, and then we added our color balance and saturation. And now we're starting to see some nice, nicer contrast in the sweater and um, that sort of aged brown look. You can go back into the uh, color balance if you're still not quite happy with it. I'd like it to get it a little bit more yellow, a little less pink, so I just went back and adjusted it. Um, so uh, we're get we're sort of getting there at this point, and what I want to do next, I think, is add a curves adjustment layer, and you can do more tweaking like this. I'm just showing you a bunch of different ways that you can be tweaking color, um, just so you have lots of tools sort of at your disposal. Um, here, you know, you can tweak the the red channel, and then into the greens, you can you can pull it down or up as you see fit, and the blues, I'm going to pull that down just a little bit to get more of that kind of aged yellow look, um, and then go back into the RGB all three at the same time, and then I'm going to give myself a little S curve, so grabbing the top corner, pulling it up, bottom corner, pulling it down just a little bit. So there you go, there is um, a nice sort of aged look at this point. So again, here's before, black and white, color balance, little tweak with the saturation to kill the red just a little bit, messing with the curves just a little bit. I'm going to take the opacity down of that last curves layer so it's not quite as strong. So I'm going to go maybe down to the 50% or so. Uh, and like that. So there there you have it. You've got this nice um, sepia tone sort of aged look. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust here. I think we this is too bright around his head. We need to darken this area around the head and then how to add some texture into the to the photo as well.